it's Faye. Do you notice anything different? <laughs> Faye, did you cut your hair? I just took out my extensions like last week. I'm actually gonna go back to extensions later on. No one cares. All right then. So I'm a bit late on this trend, but you know me, I'm so However, you guys did ask for it, so therefore, you know. <laughs> um, they call it the swipe eyeshadow. Is you excited? Because I'm not excited. I'm really excited. <laughs> but bam. <gasps> am I in focus? Oh my yes, I am. Don't like my nails. Chosunga 16 brand, 16 eye magazine every day. You basically just slide this eyeshadow across your eyes and you won't get the perfect if you don't live in Korea, then obviously you have to do international shipping. Um, where did I buy this from? I don't remember. Week or two to get here. I will make sure to link this down below, the place I bought it. Cute. Feels like they didn't put a lot of thought into the packaging, but whatever. It's so cute or whatnot. It's travel friendly, so I like that. It's so cute, look at that. It's so small and dainty. It's like... <laughs> you don't even notice that it's on my thumb, huh? Does it smell good? Oh shoot, oh f ah. So what you do is you're just gonna swipe this across. Oh my gosh, oh. Hey, come on. Um, I may have done that a little hard. Just try to keep it as flat as possible, okay? Do you see that? The two different colors? Awesome sauce. So in Asia, they tend to wear the darker eyeshadow near the waterline, and then the, it has a gradient upward where it's lighter on top. And like Western makeup, where they like to have it lighter in the inner and then darker on the outer kind of thing. I don't know, I'm not a makeup girl. You know when people have short hair, they look very like young and cute. I just look like a mom. Okay, y'all ready? I'm ready. Oh yeah, I do have a little bit of eyeshadow on already. Does that own? I should probably take that off. Burp. Ready? So I'm gonna start with this side first. And then I'm okay. I will you. Okay, so you're just gonna keep this close to your eye. Oh. Ooh. Oh. What? I'm just gonna go ahead and go in like this to blend it a bit because if you don't do that, there's like a literally like a rectangle in your eye. I mean like new trend, I mean. Make sure you don't mix up your brush. Come through, come through. Close your eye. Look at that. Nice. Blend it a bit. <gasps> I like how the darker shade, it fits my eyelid like perfectly. See that? See that gradient? I like it. And then like in the video, they do like the under part, which I'm a little scared for to be really honest. Go ahead and... What am I doing? I don't know. Ooh, ooh. There is a little bit of fallout. I'm gonna go this way because I want the darker color to be on the outside. I prefer not to do the bottom, like it's more clean that way, but I mean, I guess. <sighs> Maybe if you blend it out more, I prefer like the side without the bottom. Let's say you want to darken it. It does rub on very smoothly and soft, so it makes it kind of easier to blend it out. You can even use your finger. See that? See that? Don't mix it up. Oh yes, yes. Again, the edges. That was a very quick first impression review. I highly recommend it. I give it a 10 out of 10. Okay, maybe a 9 out of 10 because they're like, when you first do it, you do see the rectangle shape. It does blend out very easily. The only downside that I have, my skin tone is not peel like the commercial girl. The model, the mo the mo the model. The color payout came off really vibrant for her and like very like sparkly and oh my god, hey, you know. I'm more of a medium skin tone. I'm a yellow tone. The color payout is okay. I'm not too sure if it's going to be as, you know, out there for more copper skin tones. I mean, an everyday simple like it works. Not as buildable and the only thing is the price. Of this the idea of this is very convenient if you're not into makeup and you don't know how to put makeup on highly recommend for beginners if you're a makeup lover and you're like all about makeup then you don't need this 
You did not know that in your gullang way. Those are my final thoughts, and um, I hope you enjoyed this very fast and close impression. I know. If you're in New Jersey this Thursday, aka like tomorrow, make sure to stop by the Asian Festival at William Patterson University. I will be there for a quick meet and greet, a little Q&A, and a little skincare demo around 1 to 3, I believe. Stop by, give me a hug, let's chit chat, and I will see all of you soon. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe and hit the notification bell if you want to. No force, no force, but you better do it. Thanks. Just kidding. Until next time, I'm sending love. Bye. Bye.